Hey, look, we jumping right into the videos from now on. I feel like this is the best way to engage. Look, what's the best way to write music? You, you thinking about it, right? I'm going to tell you. You need to be relatable. And when people relate to you or to your music, that's how, that's how you connect. Think about your favorite artists. When you listen to their music, you relate to it, don't you? Something that they talk about or maybe the way they are or it's something about them in their music that just connects with you. Like J. Cole, my favorite artist. I relate to Cole so much. It's like we're the same person at different times. You know what I mean? J. Cole, like as a kid, lived in North Carolina. And then he got older, he moved to New York. I'm the opposite. As a kid, lived in New York. As I got older, I moved to North Carolina. Completely different. Like, our experiences are the same, but at different times. You know what I mean? So, it's like I relate. And then it's like, based off his music, I can tell that like, he was the kid that kind of like sat back and observed and like he kind of was like known, but he wasn't like the super popular kid, but he wasn't like a lame. And that's kind of me like, most people know who I am, they do. Was I the most popular kid? No. Was I a lame? No. Nah. Not at all. People know who I am. I was cool. I was chill. I really was that nigga. You feel me? But I was always in my own lane. Like, I didn't... I was never going above and beyond to, like... To be that guy in school. Like, the... You feel me? That was never me. I was just me. I was cool for being me. You feel me? Literally. And I'm still that same person till this day. So like, if you rock with me, you rock with me for being me because that's the only thing I know how to do is be me. I've been the same person for a very long time. I've been rapping since before high school. You feel me? I've been rapping since I was a kid. I've been an artist for a long time. This is not new. This, is, this, this wasn't something that started in high school or after high school. Like, the same person I am now is the same person that... Niggas used to sit in class right next to. Nigga, I was in school with y'all niggas, and I left school, got home, turned on the computer, and started writing and shit. You know what I mean? I'm in the career recording, learning how to mix and master in high school, making, learning how to make beats, and now I'm fucking amazing with it. You feel me? But, like I'm saying, when it comes to writing music, <coughs> The best thing you can do is be relatable, right? And you got to know who you relate to, right? Perfect example. I dropped the EP today. Today is the 28th of November. I dropped the EP. It's called For Lost Time. For Lost Time, right? For Lost Time. You know what I mean? Drop the EP, For Lost Time. Last song on the EP is called Voicemail. And in the song, I talk about well the name of the song is voicemail so the the song is me calling my ex voicemail basically and i'm trying to figure out like why things happen the way they happen and i'm also just like explaining certain things that happen um like uh when I met you, when I met you, I ain't had no whip. Buzzy taught you how to drive. Uh, shit like that. Like certain lyrics that just stick out. Um, um, you started acting, what I said, you started acting. I, I can't even remember off the top. The song is so new, I can't really remember all the lyrics. But basically, it was just like me explaining and, and expressing um, the things I went through in, in the past with like, one of my exes, and um, yeah, so 
But my homie Jeff, he listened to the song, and then he ended up looping it, bro. He ended up having the song on repeat, bro, because he just like, damn, like, I went through similar shit just like this, bro. This shit crazy, like. And then he started running the song back to me, like, yeah, like, I taught this, taught this, I taught Shorty how to drive. She got her whip and shit. Started acting funny, or, like, like he really started breaking the song down and I sitting there and I'm listening to him run me back my lyrics. He, he running me back my lyrics. And I'm sitting there like, damn, like, that damn near became his favorite track of mine just because it, it, it was so relatable. Like he could just relate to it. So like, if you can relate to someone, like just by telling your story because i mean that's all you really got to do like don't think that you the only person that went through some shit you know what i mean like everybody done went through some shit and a lot of us have went through similar shit just at different times like me and my homie jeff we not the same age but we went through similar shit just at different times in life so the fact that i could sit here and write about it he pressed play and go damn I went through that. It's amazing. So music is like, you gotta find your audience and you gotta figure out who you relate to. And that's the best way to write. Write about your life. Write about what's real to you. Don't just be out here trying to ride the wave or write what you think people wanna hear. It's like, ah, I get I get that when you trying to like, you like people do that when they trying to make a hit. Like it's like, what do people wanna hear? And it's like, fuck what people want to hear. What do you want to talk about? At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, what do you want to be known for? What kind of artist do you want to be? Fuck trying to write what you think niggas want to hear because I'm, I'm going to just be honest. What niggas want to hear change every day. Literally. What niggas want to hear change every day. You feel me? Niggas might want to hear J. Cole today and Lil Uzi tomorrow. So what you gonna do? Who you gonna be? You feel me? And it's, there's nothing wrong with evil or. But it's like, who are you gonna be? What resonates with you? What do Who do you relate to? You can't relate to everybody. That's unrealistic. So write music that you relate to. And there's somebody out there that relate to it too. If you write something that really hits you, you're like, damn. Like when I'm done writing my songs and I listen back, I'll be like, damn, this shit real. Cause I'll be really talking about my life, how I feel, shit I went through, shit I be thinking about. So when I really sit back and listen, I just be like, I literally could just listen to my music on repeat, bro. And I just be like, damn, cause it just, my music just be me. It's just me. You feel me? It's like, it's crazy. So write music that you relate to. Write your truth, man. It's gonna be the best music you ever wrote. And the people that know you, when they hear it, be like, damn. You know what I mean? Even people that don't know you, when you really writing from within, when you writing from the heart, it's gonna hit. Somebody that don't even know you can hear the pain in it. You can hear the truth in it. You know what I mean? Like, look, I'm just trying to tell y'all, bro. This is how you should write music. Write from a, a point of understanding. Write from a point of experience. Write about your life. Write about what you've been through, what you've seen things you think about, things that trouble you. Um, you just never know who's listening and what they gonna relate to. You know what I mean? Like this song I was talking about in this video, voicemail, is my favorite song right now. Because when I listen back, it's a time in my life and it just hit. It just hit, I listen, I'm just like, damn. How the fuck did I like put this shit together like this to the point where like this is exactly what I was going through and this 
it's like the feeling comes back with the with the song. It's like I'm damn near back in that moment again, and I can feel all the emotion. Like, damn. Like my my homie was really sitting there today. Like, damn. Like my nigga had that shit on repeat. Like, he's like, nah, this shit is crazy. You feel me? So that's the way, that's the that's the way you gonna really gain fans and really build a following you got to figure out who are you who are you within your core who are you and execute execute write about your life man stop writing about all this shit. stop writing about shit you think niggas want to hear like i said what people want to hear change every day write about your life write your truth be you unapologetic ah, unapologetically you feel me just be yourself you feel me? Had to get that out, man. I almost got tongue-tied. But anyways, man, I'll catch y'all next time, man.